Hi Virgo, welcome to the new moon in Aquarius for February 9th, 2024. New moons bring in new cycles and you have a happy success uh, cycle <laughs> coming in for you. Number eight, which is a lot of focus and things moving swiftly, a lot of power, uh, consciousness. So uh, you are thinking things are working out quite well. There's a happy success card here. Um, very nice for you, Virgo. Okay, so that's the direction that the reading is going in. Your focus for the next two weeks is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a... It's a bit of a protective card. It is associated with Sagittarius, so there can be a little bit of <laughs> paranoia. But for me, it feels, especially with the happy success, is that you've been through a lot. These are your experiences. The nine of the eight wands that are behind you, and you're holding that one. So you're kind of protective over them a little bit. Um, this is the walking wounded card. So you've been through a lot. You have the, the, the wounds and the scars to prove it. Um, and so it's kind of like looking over your shoulder a little bit like, yeah, I don't really want that um, to happen again. It's kind of the biding your time a little bit. Um, but there's happy success. So I don't think that you have to worry too much about it. But it's very possible that you're protecting the success that you've had so far and you don't want to... Uh, let it diminish or move away from it. But nine is the accumulation of um, your experience and what you've gained from it and the wisdom and the understanding that you've gained from, from this particular cycle that you've been through. Uh, we are on a new cycle with the Pluto in Aquarius a new 20-year cycle, plus we are moving into the new Chinese astrology year, which is the wood dragon. And the dragon is associated, or associ it translates into Aries um, in Western astrology. So Aries is the baby, right? Is the trailblazer. He um, uh, has no one to compare himself to, so he just... Uh, <laughs> moves on in, blazes his own trails, and has nothing to compare himself to, so he makes his own magic. <clears throat> sometimes to his detriment and sometimes not, right? But he gives it the old college try. All right, so let's see what's going on here with you. The first column is uh, where you find yourself at the time of the new moon or what it is that you are consciously beginning at this time. The third column is you and how you deal with the whole situation, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, um, what you're doing. And the last column is probable outcome. Forewarned is uh, forearmed. That's why we read the tarot or why we look into it. Um, sometimes you can do something about it and sometimes you cannot because you are meant to have this experience, but always for your own uh, growth. So the... First column, you have some choices to make here with the Lover's card. This is Major Arcana, and you have three of them. So I find that means that a lot of it can be a very much uh, things that are happening very much on an internal level. These are choices that we make. Now, this used to be called the Choice card, um, but now it's the Lover's. So these are the three stages of love. You have the very sexual, passionate love. You have the more maternal um, love, love for family, love for fruit, love for um, pets, you know, just that very maternal. And then you have the big one, which is compassion, the highest love. But it leaves you at a crossroads, right? What do I choose? What's the best choice for me? And you have another, you have a three here. So this is a very creative energy. These can be um, that you are taking instruction, you are giving instruction. This is my apprenticeship card. Um, 
you may have just finished a study and you're working on your first project. Um, you may have just learned something or chosen a path, right? What do I choose? I'll, I'm at a crossroads. I'll choose this path. And you're on your first um, try at it. And uh, like I said, you can be taking instruction or giving instruction, but there are creative solutions with this card. Three is always creativity, and this is and pentacles are the material world, right? The materium, so financial, physical, health, whatever. But it is the material world, and there can be very good, strong, creative solutions uh, when this card appears. It is a bit of a spiritual card, so when I see the two of them together, there is sort of some spiritual aspect. Um, that I feel is included in the meaning of this column. You have nice success here. So you have happy success twice. This is success. This is victory in group situations. But it is certainly after a period of pressure because it is six, right? And five comes before six. And five is that roller coaster ride, the tension, the changeability, the um, instability. And six brings balance back to it. Now you have a small victory here. You can take a little victory lap, but there's more to go. And we can see that here with that six of wands. Albeit it's a six, we still have more to go here. And I think that's kind of this energy here a little bit. We've reached, we've, you know, we've gotten over the hump with that six, but we know that there's still more to go. And so we're kind of like, okay, my experience has told me that, I, you know, it is a small victory lap. However... I know better. I have the experience that tells me that there can still be some trip-ups or some difficulties or challenges coming up. I'm not there yet. Okay? Uh, you are behaving like the Ace of Cups and the Emperor here. Um, you can be in a leadership role. Um, you can be the leader of this group. Um, the leader, the emperor, can rule with an iron fist or he can make um, laws and regulations that are good for everyone involved. And there are inspired ideas here. There's a flow of creative um, thought, uh, creative innovation, um, inspiration. Um, this often means that we're releasing old emotional baggage, but for me it really feels like there's some inspirational... A new emotional beginning here, uh, but inspired, flowing energy. Nice, really nice. Yes, because, really nice, Virgo. This is um, removing all distraction and just getting the job done. It is honing our craft. An eight, right? So we have that eight. We're just working at it. We're just spitting out what it is that we are getting started with here. And quite successfully, I must say. Really nice. We're establishing some good firm foundations with the Emperor card there. Um, but there is, I feel like, some really inspired, flowing, um, creative energy. Whether you're a creative or not, um, whatever you're working on, there's a really nice flow. Nice, really nice. So you keep working at it, right? You just keep on working at it. Removing distraction, getting the job done. However, the outcome is one of um, taking our hands off of a situation. We can be working as hard as we want to, but the outcome still states that it's not in our hands just yet. Um, this can be a sacrifice of some sort. Uh, this is the card of Odin, who sacrificed an eye for knowledge. I don't suggest that. But there is a perspective shift here. He's upside down. But if you see the halo around his head, he's coming to an, a different understanding. He's seeing things from another perspective. And this is possibly the key to a complete victory here. Um, whenever I have two of the same cards, right, six of wands and six of swords, it always tells me to negate that and really to concentrate on this. And so, again, I will say, removing distraction, just keep working at it. 
Um, the Six of Swords is the card of moving on from something, possibly one of the choices that you had to let go of. It's taking the, uh, the bumps and bruises and the experiences that we had here and moving on and understanding them, right? Because there's an understanding here with that um, um, hanged man card, seeing things from another's perspective, but doing it from a, from a calmer state of, of emotion and consciousness. We're looking to move to a quieter place to understand uh, what just happened or to understand how we're going to go on further. Like I said, both of them are six, and that means that we're over the hump. We're half, we're a little more than halfway there, but we're not all the way there yet. And for me, that's really the nine of wands, which is saying, like, I've been through this before. I can take my small victory lap. Um, I can understand it to this point, but I know there's more to go before I finish things up here. And <laughs> nice. Uh, finish things up you will because we have a 10 right and 10 is the end of a cycle the beginning of a new one simultaneously this is emotional maturity this is faith in family in the future it's also moving on here so I think what's going to happen is you're going to be working very hard and then you may take a bit of a break before you finish things up because sometimes this is removing yourself or wanting to get away from boring dreary responsibilities and um, you know just wanting to take some time with the family or get away from it all but take a little holiday because this is also uh, can be overseas or just finding calmer waters before we move on to finishing things up it seems to me like here we're working very hard and again with that nine of wands we have the idea that um we want to we have the we're having the experience of it and can be a bit tired from it like i said he he has the wounds and the scars from all the hard work from the previous cycle and so it's very possible because here we're so focused and really getting work done that at some point we're going to be a little bit like, yeah, I need a break, right? So you can maybe overwork yourself or once you reach a particular uh, level of success, you're going to take a little break. Um, maybe uh, things won't be in your hands and so in the time when you, you've gotten so far and now you have to give it to somebody else to finish out the project, you can take a break or... Um, you waiting for some situation uh, to finish up or to um, to uh, resume and in the meantime I'll take a break okay all right so let's see what spirit wants you to know in any case there's happy success here and a lot of uh, you have two eights and um, that's a lot of focus on that success and and getting the job done Hmm. You have the Christ energy, which is 44, which is adds up to 8. Open the door to the kingdom of heaven. So something heavenly, right? Is, is something is really... Um, uh, something really wonderful is happening here. Um, it feels to me like you're going to have the power and the focus to get things done. I think you're going to be very happy with the way things are progressing and I think you're going to be um, progressed enough where you can take a break. Even if it's in a mental or emotional break, right? You can calm down. But it's, it feels almost like you have this inspired burst of energy and then you need to, to relax a little bit and take a break. Okay, uh, you know, it's family bliss as well. I definitely see that here. Thank you for listening. I hope this has been helpful. I will return in two weeks with a full moon reading. And it's appreciated your listening. And um, take good care. Bye for now.